Okay, what? How do you get hunted while you're in the plains by wolves? I don't know if they can get up on this rock or not, but like, look at them going after that guy. They're going to go over there into the swamp. Yep. Look, they're starting with the swamp things over there. Look at all these wolves. No, <laughs> I don't like this raid. The you are being hunted raid is terrible. So I got a Lox's attention over here and so far so good, but now it's starting to run away on me. Hopefully this one doesn't run toward the tar pits. So they seem to get stuck pretty easily on like any kind of boulder or rock or anything. Unfortunately, I'm wet, so and my bow's about to break. Don't leave. Yeah, I, I don't know how easily it is to get these things. Oh, that one's on to me too. I need that other one to come back. Holy cow, look at what he just did to the rock. What? Oh, <laughs> holy cow. No, 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 no. Every other one of these got away. Okay, maybe I want you to get away. Oh, finally. Finally got one. Ooh. New recipes. New foods. I want to look at the damage that he did to this rock. <laughs> he just, like, blasted away half the rock. Let's see. Let's see what he did. Holy cow! It's way worse than I thought. If <laughs> the rock's gone. Okay. Oh, our poor base here. What? <laughs> okay, I think this is the locks I was shooting earlier. Oh man. It's almost dead. These things are huge, man. And there's so many tar pits over here. Which I guess is good. I think the tar pits are kind of the equivalent of the sunken crypts. Yeah, these things. This area is just nuts. It's just nuts. So another benefit to the plains is that all the trees here are pretty much birch trees. So if you need fine wood, this is the place to go. So I'm going to come over here and chop down a bunch of trees because I need a bunch of fine wood to recreate portals and things like that. But yeah, that's another benefit of the plains is that it is fine wood central. I would just suggest checking your surroundings for deathskitos and things like that first. But yeah, you need fine wood. This is the place for it. Oh, I've attracted multiple things doing this. Got blobs. Yeah, definitely be careful. <laughs> oh, shoot. Alright, we killed our first one of those things. It gave us tar. We can do a dark wood door now, and some shingles, and some different type of roofs. Oh, yeah, okay, it unlocked a bunch of stuff. It's still going. <laughs> wow. It's still going. Oh, the hot tub. I saw the hot tub on there. Okay, wait. Where's the hot tub? It's furniture? Yeah, furniture. Oh, I thought it was way bigger. It's not that big. 
So you need six tar, and we only got one for killing that thing. And that thing was hard to kill. So, I don't know, do the locks get mad if you're cutting down trees? Just gonna kinda keep an eye on that guy. Man, all that chopping and we only got 25 fine wood. That's... Cool. And I don't know where that tar thing actually came from. I don't see any tar stuff around here. And I think that Lox is stuck, so we might actually go attack it right now. And if he is, that'll just be some free Lox meat. Yep, he's stuck. Oh, he was stuck. He's gonna run right toward those tar pits again. I keep trying to kill these things and they keep running right toward the tar pits. I think because they know, like, that's a good protection from me, possibly. Oh. Yeah, that ground pound. That thing is no joke. Did he just try to bite me? He did. He tried to bite me. Oh, we got a lox head. See if we can maybe get just a little bit more fine wood before we leave. And then with that, I think we have all the materials we need to put our portals back into place because I want to go back by bone mass and get a bunch of iron just because it's so easy now to go in the crypts and just get what you need. Okay, portals are back. That left us with two fine wood. <laughs> And five certain cores. That's fine, though. It's fine. Well, the flax seems to be taking an awful long time to, like, ready up. So, it feels like it takes a long time to farm that stuff. And I still don't quite know what it does. Okay, after absolutely just decimating a sunken crypt, we got lots of iron. And so, we're gonna use that iron to build the new smelting thing. And also, I wanted to take a look at how this hot tub is ultimately going to look. Because my vision was to have it right here in this little area. So let's kind of take a look at that. Maybe like right here, because it's close enough to the bed where I'm still getting the benefit. And yeah, it'll be cool. It'll look cool. I could put a little, like, roof over it. Nice. Okay, but we do need a lot of tar, which brings me to my next point. So while that's kind of going... I have an idea about how to handle the tar pits. I'm not sure if it's going to work. But the the big animals, the lax or lux or whatever they're called that are over there, they kind of gave me an idea. Okay, I have 150 stone on me. Here's what I'm thinking. The lux, when they attack, if that's the right word for them, but when they attacked, they did so much damage to the stone that it made me think, like, okay, what if we build a stone ourself which would be indestructible i think that's the way to go here um i came through the wrong portal but yeah look at that all of our wheat is just kind of popping in right now so we might as well just do this real quick not wheat blacks okay we have 66 which means i can actually do something with it so the way i kind of handle farming is I try to wait until I got 50 of something before I start um, utilizing it for anything. So now that we have 50 of these, we can go ahead and plant 50 and keep the rest, which will only be a little bit, but maybe we can see what we can make with it. You know what? I decided against that. I'm just going to go ahead and plant it all because it wasn't really that much overage. So I'd rather get us like really going. I'm telling you, crashing here was the best thing that ever happened to me. <laughs> Such a stroke of luck. Okay, so I saw those blob things jump pretty high. Like, they can get some serious height. So I think if we're going to build up, it's going to have to be pretty big. And again, we want to go slow because... If one of these things sees us, we're in trouble. And it did see us. Are we safe up here? 
I don't think so. Well, maybe. Oh, no. No. We are not safe up here. You do kind of get a move a minute to move out of the way, though. Oh. Okay, that was bad. We got to retreat now. Oh, man. And they can really move. Okay. We want to get to a place... We're probably going to die. So we want to get to a place where we could at least... Oh, okay. Well, maybe not. Maybe we'll survive. I don't want those things to destroy my portal, so... Oh, no. Jeez. It looks like the blobs kind of lost interest in us. Which is good. Gives us a chance to heal up here. Maybe my mistake was trying to get too close. I should try to build my thing a little further away. Getting good at this bow. And again, remember, we're just using, like, wooden arrows. Like, nothing, nothing crazy here. It's wooden arrows. All right, what if we built it like way back over here and then kind of kited them over? Because we can shoot them from here. Do they keep spawn? I don't know if they keep spawning or not. Is this higher than that rock? It is higher than that rock. Oh, and great. He shot at us, and he did not hit us. Right? Yeah. Okay. This will work, then. Uh, or it will not work. Oh, no. Just need that effect to wear off. Okay. Now we can make a break for it. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, the death mosquito and the thing are going at it. Okay, I think I can make the platform wider, which might help us. Okay, I'm trying to build like a larger platform here to help me have some defense. All right, let's give this another try, shall we? Oh, look at that. You can one shot these things? I don't know if I can hit him from here. Oh, I can. Guys, I think I discovered a, a pretty cool method here to help you clear him out fairly easily. I mean, it's not perfect. For sure, it's not perfect. But, so far, so good. And I don't see any more over there, so... Does that mean we're safe? Just in case I need to take off in a hurry. I'll activate that really quickly. Oh no, there's one there. Well, we barely got up here. Yeah, they just kind of shoot straight up. Alright. Thank you, Loxes, or whatever you're called. I think you gave me a fantastic idea. Okay. So I'm guessing we need to grab these things. Like, that's why we're here. But yeah, they just give you a bunch of tar. But from what I saw online, you can actually drain these tar pits. And there's a lot of tar inside of there. But you have to, like, kind of mine out. You have to kind of mine out the tar. I just don't know. Oh, yeah. See how it says stuck in the tar? So you couldn't drain it. But, like, I, I just don't know if it's worth it. Like, is there a ton in there? I don't I don't know. But, like, we got 26 tar from that from a pretty simple method. We could try this, I guess. Let's see. The way they said to do it was to just dig in the ground. See, my fear is while I'm doing this, we're going to get the... You are being hunted method message and 
There's water here. Okay. And then we dig toward the tar pit. This seems like the worst possible idea, because if you die in here, you're just done. Okay. Oh, I, I am stuck. And then, yeah, that kind of drains down, I guess. Yeah, we got a little bit. I don't know, guys. I'm not feeling like that's super worth it. <laughs> yeah. I think where these bubbles are, there might be, like, a little bit more or something. But, no. I'm feeling like, not worth it. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Oh. Oh, hello, friend. Okay, so maybe that's why you drain it, because it's not just a couple. It's like a ton. Alright. Let's go drop this off and come back. Okay, now that I've seen that, it is worth it. Because that, that was a lot. Before we even go back there, we need to put in our hot tub, right? Like that, that seems like mission critical right now. We're going to have to move our portal. I think we'll just throw it down here. We'll go grab this iron that is undoubtedly smelted up by now. Okay, we need a 10 iron. We have it. We need a little stone, a little wood. We have those things. Oh, wow. Look at that. This looks so good. <laughs> I think we'll turn it like this. You do have to feed wood into the back of this thing. Oh, no. We have to be able to access the back. Jump in. The water's nice and warm. It's actually not nice and warm yet. Because we need to be able to access the back to put warm water in there. Okay, we'll put it there. Come in the back. And then... Can we hop in here? Okay, we're chilling in the hot tub. I think if we put a chair in there, we would be able to sit in the hot tub. Because I don't see any way to sit in it. Um... I like how the water kind of splashes out when you jump in there. That's a really nice touch they added. Okay. Well, let's see if it actually did push up our rested bonus. Yeah, it's at 15 now. So, it went up two points. That's pretty nice. And then we can make the rounded table. Or the long table. These two tables also push up your, your comfort. The long table... Oh, 20 fine wood for the round table. Let's see, how big is this table? Let's, this table's huge. No, we're not doing that. Yeah, that that's more, that's more acceptable. All right, we're up to a 22 minute rested buff now. That is awesome. Oh yeah, look at him. Look at him talking smack to us. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's go get some more of that fine wood and tar. And I think our mountain trick worked pretty well. It took a lot of stone, but I think it was worth it. Okay, my guy was just swimming in tar. I can't believe that that's actually healthy. That tar flying off of my character is hilarious. Yeah, look at this, man. Wow. That is a lot of tar. And that little bit of tar is stuck, but I don't know if it matters. Because we got 35 on top of what we back have back at the house. So, yeah. I guess it is worth it. All right, yeah, I'm going to be rinsing, washing, and repeating this strategy for a while. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say other than that's how you do the planes, I guess. But we've, get, we've got some more structures over there. We've got some loxes over there. Um, I'm actually going to try to lure some of these loxes over here. 
No, this feels too far. We need to build it like here and then attack them. But look how many are there. That's a lot. Let's let's try it. And they don't really have any kind of projectile attack, so I think I'm just fine with this. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. But they can't do anything. The question is, how long are they going to stick around? So my hopes is they're not going to go too far. And I can damage them down and then get down and actually take them out. Yeah, there we go. And his buddy came back. See if we can't finish this guy off while he's trying to run away. That already gave us eight lox meat. We've been building quite a little collection of lox meat. There's some over here. Get our crafting table stuff back. That other one, there was another one. He seems to have taken off completely. Now this camp over here looks a little different, huh? There's like bonfires over there. Look at this. It's like a little stronghold. Okay, yeah, that's going to be interesting, taking that all down. I don't know, we ain't going there just yet. <laughs> oh, these more locks spawn? This is a lock spawning point. Let's see. Yeah, these are two new ones. So I feel like I could probably just farm them here. Okay, I'm going to grab a little more fine wood. Hey, we are back at base. I'm ready to throw this table in. Put this guy down. I'll just put it right here for now. And let's see, that pushed us to 16. 16 max comfort, and how much time does that give us? 23 minutes. All right, guys. Well. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode and you are still enjoying the Valheim series. It's coming to a close soon with only the Mistlands left and the last boss that we have to take on. And um, yeah, hopefully you guys are still enjoying it and I will see you in the next episode. Bye, friends!